Twas the night before Christmas, and troops were gathered around. There were goblins, minions, dragons, and even a lava hound. They sat by the army camp, all jolly and merry, drinking all the elixir the poor maids could carry. But there was one troop who wasn't joining the fun, for she was mad about something the village had done. Because the ground soil had become rather thin, it decided to ban the spawning of skeletons. This made the witch very angry, you see, because her skeleton servants were the key. They made her bed with love and care, and they helped her dye her dark purple hair. That night, the witch had a wicked old plan to get revenge on the troops who voted for the ban. Just as the troops were about to head out, Witch stepped in the center and began to shout, Don't leave just yet, I have a story. I must insist, it's mandatory. Everyone stopped and turned back around to see what was about to go down. It's a story of a special attack with troops like yourselves ready to ransack. But the base they approached was a little bit odd how so, said Hog, was it somehow flawed? Not quite, Witch replied as she sipped her eggnog. It's just that every spring trap could spring off ten hogs. There were gasps, whispers, and groans throughout, and poor Hog promptly passed out. Now listen here, Witch, Balloon said from above. Watch your bad attitude, which I'm getting sick of. Which turned to Balloon and said with a smile, but the story goes on, and it goes on a while. With excess gold, this base could manage to buy seeking air mines that do splash damage. You're lying now, Witch, that cannot be. Oh, it is, Witch said, but don't get mad at me. It's not my fault the wizard towers had the range of an eagle artillery. And by the way, Wallbreaker, I also recall a small bomb was placed just beside each wall. And because the village has supply problems, the mortars shoot out captured goblins. A hush had fallen over the crowd when Miner stepped forward, confident and proud. These made-up stories cannot scare me. I'm not fooled so easily. Oh, is that right? Witch said in reply. Well, I have some news, Mr. Tough Guy. For an unknown reason, a mistake perhaps, the base has built 600 skeleton traps. Miner looked rather shook and stood rather quiet but then jumped up and said, I don't buy it. 600 skelly traps, there's not enough space. There's not enough tiles in the entire base. Well, hold on, Golem said. I don't mean to take sides, but using basic matrix algebra derives that the size of the base unmistakably coincides with a far greater number of tiles than you had prescribed. Oh, that, that's absurd. Who said you could talk? You're just a big, useless rock. Before you say another uneducated word, I'll have you know I graduated top at Harvard. Which now turned to Golem and said, I must profess. I've also heard the single target inferno towers they possess are known to do infinite DPS. Infinite DPS is not something you can inflict. As modern physical theories predict, infinity is a concept humans have picked to deal with vast quantities too big to predict. For once, Witch was speechless. She stood there in awe as the other troops slowly began to applaud. Golem had ended Witch's harsh reign using nothing more than his own brain. The music came on and they danced in the lights singing Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.